Hi, Dave Kovar here. This is Chad Shepard. Today we're going to do an old school hand speed drill. We call this Kempo 2, okay? And uh, basically it's going to start out, my partner is just going to be neutral. He's not going to have any footwork at all. And, and what I'm really doing is work on accuracy. When you're doing movements like this, uh, it's all based on really making sure that you're, you're accurate. Example, uh, a butcher, big movements, big cuts. If you miss a little bit, hey, uh, you're still probably going to be do some damage, right? A surgeon, the cut has to be exactly right. Well, when we're doing this, like if I'm just doing the straight punch or hook, man, I want to be accurate, but if I'm not accurate, I still can do damage. The kind of strikes we're doing now, I have to make sure that I, I really fine tune and, and place my strikes. So my attacker is going to just come from there and he's going to do like a wide squatting right. And, and by the way, if you want, as you pick it up, he might even like, like slap me only because that way I don't have to worry about, you know, psychologically, he, you know, he's going to reach out a little bit more. So my first move is called four swords. He's going to throw a hooking right and I'm going to block, chop, palm uppercut. Watch what I did. So I'm going to do a double block, open and close, and I'm going to bounce right off that arm. I'm going to cut through and I'm going to roll into a palm and I'm going to come back with an uppercut. And the key thing on this is I'm using my core and my quads. Okay. So from this position, I'm not going to load up. It bounces right off and the power is derived from this and dropping down. So the, the motion here is like I'm hitting with a samurai sword. The mo it's going to, it's going to drop through at the tail end of that. Mm, the palm is coming out, and then I'm coming back with an uppercut. It's almost like I had a sword. Whew. That's the motion. So I'm coming one, two, three, four. So that's the first half. Now the second one, the left has come. Of course, I could do the same thing on the left side, but we're going to break it up a little bit. He's got, I'm going to do, I'm going to use my right, left hand as an antenna. I'm going to do a sweep block. I'm going to come one, two, and I'm going to come right back out with a hammer fist, and I'm going to drop down. Okay, accuracy. I'm going to the groin. Key eye for me. Kill. All right, no problem. Key eye for me. Just kidding. Make sure you're placing your strikes, right? So I'm going to do that slow again. So I'm going to come from here, parry, outward, and my body's just going to twist a little bit, and I'm going to roll right back out of it. And that hammer fist is going to come from here, and it's going to come right back around with the other one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that together and do a little flow. So my partner's going to go right hook, pause, left hook, pause, right hook, pause, left hook. It's going to look like so. We'll start out nice and slow. And I'm just going to roll that hand up. All I'm trying to do is get those hands. Now he's going to go a little faster. I'm going to go a little faster. So what he's doing is he's timing. I'm oh. so oh, there you go. And what he's doing is he's timing the strike to where what he doesn't want to do. I, he doesn't want me to get a habit of waiting. So he doesn't know the hooking right and wait because this is not an instinct that I want to have, right? So when I'm about finished, right about there, oh man, I never have a chance to stop. Okay, thank oh. you, sir. That's called Kempo Two. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.